without knowing it we are living under a system of feudalism and serfdom now, these are forms of slavery when you live in an apartment building you pay a rent to the landlord you will never own that property you will pay infinitely you're forced into labor in order to pay the landlord that is feudalism that's a vassal you're a slave serfdom is being indebted to the landowner and eventually paying off that debt this is the proto-capitalism the first form of capitalism you you pay off that debt and then you own the land you buy it from the landlord from the wealthy landowner so if you are buying a home a condo then you are a serf forced into labor in order to pay off the debt in order to occupy the land if you're an apartment renter you are a vassal a slave a feudalistic slave paying infinitely forced into labor and you will in fact our entire society is really forced labor in order to provide shelter and basic needs for your family you are forced into labor by those wealthy uh, business owners and by the state <clears throat> so we are not a free country in America we are still operating under a feudalistic and capitalistic form of slavery now there's a form of human trafficking that most people are probably not aware of called debt <clears throat> bondage uh, the human trafficked slave is forced into labor of some sort or another prostitution or some other form of uh, labor uh, because they they have been incurred a debt that is very hard to repay uh, that is not really their debt it's just bullshit so my argument here is that in America we are all being human trafficked in a system of debt bondage you want to go learn things at a university you're in debt to the banks you want to provide shelter and basic needs to your family you're in debt to the banks You want to maintain your standard of living. 
you take out loans, you're in debt to the banks. You, you want to pay for a funeral. <laughs> it's just. You want to buy a transportation to work, you're in debt to the banks. This is a form of human trafficking called debt bondage. Now in the Matrix, Morpheus talks about how people, the majority of people, are not ready to be unplugged from their fantasy world because they are inured, meaning they are accustomed to the way things are and hopelessly dependent upon this system that enslaves and abuses them. So you need to recognize that you're, you actually have a trauma bond to this abusive system that enslaves you. Stockholm Syndrome. You need to recognize that these masters, these slave masters, are abusive. They are toxic. They are exploiting you. They, you are being forced into labor. Everyone should have their own business, should have control of their income. No one, no corporation should make a profit because the only way to make a profit is by exploiting the workers. No business should expand because that just leads to a monopoly when everyone ha should have the right to create a business and compete. Expanding the business just means exploiting more workers in order to make more profit. Everyone should be a partner in the company they work for. Everyone should be working by choice, not forced into labor. Everyone should receive an equal amount of the profits generated. I'm not against competition. I have no interest in communism. I'm against government regulation. I'm against government. I'm an anarchist. Government is just a form of control in order to exploit. It just turns us into cattle who are controlled, fattening us up to be slaughtered in some foreign war in order to defend bush oil or some Uh, colonial settlement in the American Empire. We have a trauma bond with the abuser. Stop worshiping this God, the God of state. Did you know that Adonai, which is the Hebrew word for the Lord uh, in the Bible, is also means master and owner. Stop bowing down to this slave master, to this property owner to this Lord. It's time for a slave revolution. Overthrow the masters.